this is going to be the story of one of the strangest collaborations you will ever see. And it comes back to kind of comparing it to that old commercial from years ago for Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. So there's two people bopping down the street and oh! oh! You got Chicago Architectural History on my rapid prototype and cutting edge technology. And you got, well, oh, whatever that is, on my architectural history. Well, you know, I'm an old fashioned guy, I'm a historian, I deal with old stuff. Part of my specialty is architectural history, the work of Louis Saul, but I scrounge old pieces of buildings, I go through old books, and to tell the story as architectural historian, there's a lot of cultural stories to tell, but I also have a dark side, you'll see. And I'm Tom Wellswood, and I'm from Huddersfield, <laughs> who found 3D printing and scanning in a very circuitous and serendipitous way. I love to 3D scan objects from the real world and see them represented on the screen, like Edward Kimmy's uh, line from the Art Institute of Chicago and then print them using the 3D printer and other technologies. Now, history doesn't always play fair. Some of the most beautiful buildings by the architect Louis Sullivan were done when he was in his 20s, or the 1880s. Beautiful houses and buildings that kind of were part plant, part building. Most of them were pounded into dust before even some of our fathers were actually born. So part of what I did was tell the story of these lost buildings. In addition to uh, predominantly digital fabrication, I teach extensively at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. In this image, you can see me 3D scanning a Roman torso from the museum's collection using a method called photogrammetry. If you have a digital camera, then you have a 3D scanner. If you have a smartphone, then you have an app for that. Now, I told you there was a dark side. Part of my expertise is I happen to be the world's leading authority on the history of rock and Popeil TV advertising products. <laughs> Like Caprica 6. But wait, there's 
of all, you can own this book yourself right now for free. That's right, no money down, no monthly payments, free as in a beer. <laughs> Just navigate your favorite web browser, thinkyverse.com. Do a quick search for 20 something solid and download it yourself. Only at least 400 hours of 3D printing, and you can have your own copy of this one of a kind publication. 20 something Sullivan has been released into the public domain for you to breathe new life to these wonderful designs and ornaments. Impress your friends, wow your neighbors with this important slice of Chicago's architectural heritage, lovingly rescued from demolition sites around Chicago by folks such as the late Richard Nagel and the mighty Tim Samuels. Another empty lot. It's just they disappear before you know it. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Yes, it's true. It's a library, but it's also a photocopy of, of objects. Simply take your favorite air drying, malleable material of choice and place it carefully in the flip side of each page to make a new copy of the Barbie House terracotta or the Rosenfeld Building Ironwood. Share them with your colleagues. It's a unique holiday gift with your loved ones. And but wait, there's more. And while we have our beer break, you can examine, if for a limited time only, the original 20-something Sullivan book right here. And we also have under the table an original Copio Ronco egg scrapper and Ripple Manic. We will show you how we will scramble an egg ball. 